Today we're going to look at the Shure MV88 Plus microphone kit and how to set it up. The MV88 Plus kit comes with a mic clip, cables, a phone clamp, a tripod, and the MV88 Plus microphone. Snap the microphone into the mic clip. As this is a stereo mic, pay attention to the orientation of the microphone. Left or L should be on the left, and right or R should be on the right. Now attach the mic clip to the tripod. The kit can be set up in a number of different ways, such as a pistol grip. You can also attach the phone directly to the tripod for a more video-oriented setup, or attach the mic directly to the phone for greater mobility. For interviews and voiceovers, I'd recommend having the mic directly mounted on the tripod. Connect the micro USB end of the cable into your microphone and the lightning connector into your iPhone. If using an Android phone, use a compatible cable with your device. Now plug your headphones into the MV88 Plus. Download the Shure Plus Modif app from the Apple App Store or Google Play. Links for these are in the description below. Once the app is installed, tap on the icon to launch the application. When the application detects the microphone, the LED on the back of the MV88 Plus will turn green. The slider labeled Mic Gain controls the level of the microphone. Directly to the right of Mic Gain is a button. When you click on that button, that controls your monitor mix. This controls what you're hearing in your headphones, either the mic or anything playing back from your phone. Generally speaking, leaving this right in the middle is perfectly fine. Below monitor mix, you'll see a number of icons representing microphone patterns. Swipe left or right until you choose monocardioid. When you swipe up in the app, you'll see a number of other options. I suggest leaving the limiter on, the compressor off, and the high pass filter set to 75 Hz. The EQ is off by default, and I suggest leaving it deactivated. This is essentially your mono preset. You can save all of these settings by tapping on Save. After naming your preset, tap on Save in the dialog box. Settings for a stereo setup are almost identical. Just swipe on the pattern icons until you see Stereo. Tapping and dragging on the white circles allows you to choose how wide your stereo recording will be. The differences are pretty subtle. When you find something that you like, click on Save to save a stereo preset. Presets can easily be recalled by tapping on the arrow to the right of the Save box. Choose the preset that you want and tap on Apply, and then OK. Once the preset is loaded, those settings will be in the microphone itself. As a result, those settings will continue to work in other applications and devices. Now that we're all set up, click on the bottom center icon of the application to choose the recording page. Mic gain levels aren't really something that you can put in a preset. So where should they be? How loud should the audio be? If you look at the top of the application, you'll see some audio meters. The meters show the strength of the audio signal that the microphone is receiving. Raising or lowering the mic gain slider will affect this. When recording, try to keep the meters, on average, just above and just below negative 12 dB, as labeled on the meter itself. Sound fluctuates greatly and that's fine. Just don't let the meters go above negative 3 dB, as you then risk distorting your recording. Before recording, make sure to click on the blue box in the middle right of the app window. This will allow you to choose the sample rate for your recording. For now, choose 16 and 48 kilohertz, and then tap on Done. To start recording, just hit the small red button in the bottom center of the app. Hit the pause button to stop recording, and hit the checkbox just to the right of it to save your recording. In the dialog box, you can enter the name of your recording and tap on Save. 
To transfer your recordings from your phone to your computer, tap on the waveform icon on the bottom right hand corner of your screen to access all of your recordings. Tap on the file that you'd like to send, then tap on the three dots near the bottom right hand corner of the screen, then tap on share, tap on more, and if you have Google Drive installed, tap on copy to Google Drive. Google Drive will launch and prompt you to save the file. Tap on save. Google Drive will notify you when the transfer is complete. And from there, you can download the file onto your computer from Google Drive. If you have AirDrop enabled on your computer, you can transfer the files directly to your computer. Follow the same steps as before, and instead of choosing Google Drive, tap on the available AirDrop device. On your computer, AirDrop will ask you to accept the incoming file. Choose Accept. The transferred file can now be located in your Downloads folder. When recording interviews and voiceovers, you'll want your microphone set up to record monophonically. And when recording ambient sound, you'll want the mic to record in stereo. A few last words on mic placement. Never speak directly into the microphone. Keep the mic pointed towards your mouth, but off axis or off to the side. This will avoid plosives or popping sounds created by the airflow coming out of your mouth while speaking. Also, pay attention to the distance of the mic to the sound source. When recording voices, try to keep the mic within 4 to 6 inches of the mouth. This will ensure a good clean recording of the voice with minimal background noise. And that's how you use the Shure MV88 Plus and Motive application.